Manut boss Eric Ten Hag may have hinted at imminent Alejandro Garnacho transfer decision. Alejandro Garnacho is one of Manchester United's highest rated young players. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag may have already told fans the full story when it comes to Alejandro Garnacho's future. The teenager is reportedly in line for a new contract, but a fundamental lack of game time points towards a spell away from Old Trafford, despite being highly rated by the Red Devils. Garnacho has starred for United at youth level since arriving from Adel Tacoma. Madrid in 2020, supporters hold out hope that he will eventually make a big impact on the first team, for whom he made two appearances last term. Now a year older at 18, the winger is yet to be given a major vote of confidence by Ten Hag. Just a smattering of minutes in Europe and the Premier League suggests that he will have to look elsewhere for regular game time, although the Red Devils wouldn't let that happen on a permanent basis. In fact, the Sun claimed that United are in talks with Garnacho's representatives to try and negotiate a new contract. The Argentine is already tied to Old Trafford until 2025, but a new deal would presumably deter him from exploring other options. That being said, many factors point towards a loan exit in January, which could land United with an improved player by the start of next season. Still perhaps too young to be featuring regularly at Premier League level, the Red Devils are no strangers to loaning their youngsters to the championship, and Garnacho could follow suit. If he wants senior game time this season then he may be left with no choice, given that he's struggled to even make the Premier League bench in recent weeks. Emma Dilo, Tath Chong and Alvaro Fernandez all left this summer to join EFL sides in Sunderland, Birmingham City and Preston North End respectively. Garnacho is yet to score a senior goal for United but he has already been called up to the Argentina national team squad alongside greats like Lionel Messi and Angel Di Maria. The teenager didn't take to the pitch for his country but it served as another indicator that big things could be on the horizon. There were murmurs that Ten Hag and United Chief Darren Fletcher considered loaning fellow youngsters Zidane Nickel and Charlie Savage out during the summer. They didn't sanction either exit but the midfield duo, along with Garnacho, may already be itching for minutes with a crop of senior, established stars blocking their route to the first team. Garnacho has been training with us for the last two weeks and I know that he is one of the most prominent promising players, said former interim boss Ralph Rangnick earlier this year. If he keeps trying to get better every day, he will not only be sitting on the bench but there is every chance he will be playing for this club. He has to work hard and get physically stronger but technically on the ball he's been training with us for the past month and you can see with every training session he's getting better. In other news, Manut now formally pursuing new contract for Diogo Dallo. Manchester United have opened talks with defender Diogo Dallo over a new contract amid interest from the likes of Barcelona and AC Milan. Journalist Jack Talbot claims the Portuguese has been in fine form under manager Eric Ten Hag. He has started in each of the club's 11 games this season chipping in with two goals in the process. Despite his good run, there have been questions raised over his future at the club. His current deal expires in June next year, but United have a 12-month option. While the extension clause is expected to be triggered soon, it is now revealed that the Red Devils are formally pursuing a new contract for the former Porto graduate. Barcelona and AC Milan are among four clubs that are interested in him at the moment, but the 23-year-old is inclined to accept the proposal from the Red Devils. However, he is prepared to wait until after the World Cup to maximize value. Dalo should be rewarded with new Manut contract. Dalo has been one of United's most improved players and has been playing with confidence behind him knowing that he is now an undisputed starter from right back. Goal recently described him as an undroppable player, and that is definitely the case at the moment with Aaron Wan-Bissaka having played just four minutes ahead of him. It is unclear whether there is serious interest in Dalot. In our view, the recent transfer speculation could be agent-driven to ensure that United sort out Dalot's future as soon as possible. Dalot is currently one of the lowest earners at the club at just £25,000 a week. A renewal could see his salary bump to six figures. He certainly deserves to be rewarded for his efforts. Aside from the Portuguese, United have several players including Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw, David De G, Fred and Cristiano Ronaldo, who are in similar contract positions at the moment. If you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all the latest.